Hello and welcome to this episode of the High Growth Equation, the formula for channel partner success. I'm Lawrence Roberts from TD Cinex. Today, we're diving into Destination AI Solution Grid, an innovative framework designed to help partners navigate the evolving AI landscape. We'll explore how the grid works, how it helps make AI more accessible, actionable, and align to real business needs. I'm delighted to be joined by Ed Morales today, who I've worked with for over a couple of years now. Ed, thank you so much for joining us. You play a key role in shaping TD Cynics' AI strategy. Um, can you tell us a bit about your role and how it connects to the broader Destination AI initiative? And for those who may not be familiar with what Destination AI is, can you give a Brief explanation. Sure. Thanks for the gracious introduction. I appreciate it. By the way, I hope you notice I've worn a tie in, in your honor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought great. we could even call it like, like tying out with Lawrence. <laughs> Very you know, cool. Yeah. Side no, always, always an honor to talk to you. Um, so, um, so yeah, my, my name is Ed Morales. I'm the Vice President of uh, AI and Digital Transformation Strategy for North America. And really my role is to try to help mitigate the complexities and the confusion between our vendor partners and our, on our resale partners. So regarding all this noise and, and, and uh, up, you know, uptick around uh, destination or AI in general, um, I think there's been a lot of consternation from partners regarding where they make these investments. I think vendors themselves have had difficulty in trying to align their products and solutions. And so I believe we've come up with a methodology and a means to map the, the desires of the, of the vendor to promote their offerings at the same time with the partners understanding how do they sift through all the, the information that's coming to them and, and then allow them to build a, a reliable practice. So relative to Destination AI, it's become more of a framework of allowing us to present vendor solutions mapped to partners based on their capability around these three tiers of aware, ready, and expert. Wonderful. So perhaps, Ed, if we could just sort of step back a bit and look at the bigger picture for a moment. AI is everywhere right now, but adoption seems to be somewhat uneven. What are some of the biggest challenges you're seeing partners face when it comes to getting started or even perhaps scaling with AI? I think that the adoption piece, the majority of partners have been overwhelmed by information that's been coming to them. I think there's been a hyper focus around, you hear terms of Gen AI and Agentic AI and these things that are really outcome-based driven solutions, which are very important. And as a result, the partners are somewhat overwhelmed about where they need to make investments. And so what we've done that really kind of changed the, the dynamic here is we've looked at two different classes of technologies. One we call AI native, which were basically purpose-built to deliver an AI outcome. And this other class of products called AI-enabled, where AI has been infused into the technology to help enhance performance and the capability of that technology to deliver a full outcome. So you need that full stack to be able to do that. And as a result, what we've been able to do is introduce the technologies across these tiers to where the partner's at to allow them to say, hey, you've got skills Let's, let's enhance those skills. And I think this is how we're looking to mitigate some of those challenges for the partners. So with that in mind, why is now the right time for partners to lean in and start building and scaling their AI strategy? Uh, well, I think, I think we're, we're at this really interesting time. You and I have been around the industry for this equivalent amount of time. And I think for both of us, it's probably the most dynamic rate of change and exciting that's taken place and, and the opportunity. But in this case, I think there's a, there a finite time available to us in this space of AI, where especially around the, the, the products we call AI enabled in security and infrastructure. And you want to take advantage of that right now because to be able to build up the skills and that knowledge and expertise gives you a very clear differentiated value amongst your competitors. It, it's also allowing you to be much more proactive in skilling your teams to deliver the right value to market for your end customers. Because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when this gets deployed. So the sooner you get involved, the sooner you can take advantage of the opportunity in the market across the full stack. So given the, given the challenges that partners are facing with AI adoption right now, how does Destination AI help remove those barriers and give them a practical path forward to actually differentiate themselves 
in the market space today? There's, you know, there's these three tiers of partners that we talk about, you know, the aware partner um, and, and, and then the ready and expert. The aware partner is a partner who's made some done rudimentary engagements, really opportunistic, but they have not really been given guidance of where and how to make an investment. Um, you got the ready partner who've made some rudimentary investments, but not have fully monetized. They have some ways of customizing applications. They may have done some, some deployments, but they haven't fully monetized their practice. And the experts are the guys that have on-site data scientists. Um, they, they've been customized modeling. This was a natural transition for them into these new areas of AI. What you start seeing is you have, you have partners at every different tier. And so what we did with the solution grid, Lawrence, is we, we started to map the technologies within all the vendors in the two classes I mentioned earlier on AI native, these are purpose-built solutions and AI enabled or AI is built in and map them based on a grid that maps the complexity on the vertical. So the higher complex offerings, the higher on that vertical. So we track them, we, we, we have three tiers and you, it's, a, it's a nine box grid. So that starts with aware, ready and expert. And you go up that stack, the more complex. And by mapping that, we're able to create a grid of offerings because the enablement, Lawrence, uh, and, the, and the requirements to, to deploy and sell an offering at the lower left is very different than on the top right yeah. because it's much more complex. And as a result, we can now meet a partner where they're at. And I think that's the key. We're, we've opened the aperture where we start to kind of embrace a lot more technologies that we didn't have before into this, this model. Makes perfect sense. Helping partners take small steps to get to giant leap forward. So I know, Ed, that TDT Next, we help our partners and vendors both grow. So how does the solution grid help our vendors tell their story and connect with the right partners? I think the challenge the vendors have had is that they've been you know, kind of focused on, on point products and not on their stack. And I think they've had some difficulty to be able to depict their offering and their stack to the partners that, that represent their line and expose them to that. If we show a grid, you'll start to see that really, if you look at the portfolio, you'll see the full stack um, of, of their offerings. And what it does, again, if you think about it, it's a strategy on a slide, because not only you have the full stack of the products, you, you have enablement, uh, enablement framework built in, you have the partner profile and, and the targeting, because you it's, it's mapped by the type of partner that can consume that. It allows you a, a strategic journey off that one little grid. So it's the simplicity of motion that we're trying to convey. So I think there's a lot of power and I think the vendors themselves are, are starting to see that. Makes perfect sense. Thank you, Ed. Now I'd like to just mm -hmm. bring it back to the human side. Um, as a company, TD Cynics have this mission to make IT personal for our partners, our vendors and, and our, our coworkers. So how does Destination AI Solutions Grid help make IT personal for, for our partners. It just makes it simple for them to understand. I think anything, that personal engagement is all about communication. It's about making that connection. And it's about being relevant and credible. When you see the looks of our partners, when they see this for the first time and they start to see that the confusion and it's like a light has gone on or the, the fog has been lifted. When they start to see that the, where they play, and that they can build something with existing resources and investments, maybe selling it in a different way. When you start to see the vendors understand, oh, I can do this at scale, it's, it's just making it easy and more tangible and real for the partner. That's where their personal communication and, and their personal connection takes place. Hey, thank you. you. You truly are a um, Jedi master, I think, when it comes to creating frameworks that make technology so much more accessible for our partners and, and also helping our vendors go to market through these frameworks. So thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I know how busy you are and it's just wonderful to have this opportunity with you. I really appreciate your gracious, gracious words and it's always always fun talking to you. And I, it's been a, a, a really phenomenal time to, to be doing this. This is fun. And Brilliant. thank you for the opportunity. That you you're, you're very welcome, anytime. So if you're watching this, thank you for joining this episode. There is more information available on our Destination AI website if you want to go there. Equally, we've got a new article in the t newsroom called the AI Gold Rush, where partners should invest now. In addition to that, if you're new to AI and you want to get started or just want to ramp up your skill level, we have additional courses on our global LMS platform, Channel Academy. And there's courses there around AI. 
um, created by our own global specialized skills team and they are brilliant courses so please go and ch check them out um, or just reach out to your td uh, cynix um, account manager for more information we're excited to see what's next and what's happening stay tuned for more insights coming soon until next time thank you very much